Me and Brendan failed four times before we actually beat Dorizon Drag. And I want to show you how we died each time before the run where we actually were successful. So yeah, here's the first time we failed. We had just got done picking up the stone that is needed for the final step before the boss fight when this happened to us. But for some reason, when you first come in here, it won't let you press X in the Cronorium. You have to come in here after you do the rocket code thingy. That's some bullshit. Yeah, it's so annoying. That's why I was over here when we first came in spamming the Cronorium. I was like, why isn't it working? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's gonna be a Panzer and plus this Panzer. See, there's two of them. There's one behind you. Oh, I'm down. Oh, they just insta-killed me. <laughs> Bro, there's no way. How did it insta kill us? And how did it not die? I'm wondering how the f I just died. I was still spamming RT while I was dead. That was like a glitch or some shit. I literally just walked out and died. Bro, this game f sucks. Oh, I got two liquid diviniums. Let's go. <laughs> The second game that we failed, we pretty much just rushed into the boss fight really unprepared. We could have easily beat it if we would have just got everything that we needed before we went in. And the worst part is that we were only on round 16, so we had plenty of time. I'ma just say that Brendan was in a rush, alright? So I was doing it for him. I only have 16 bow shots. I only have 24, but we'll get a max ammo after we do the whiffs thing. We just gotta wait for it. Right. Okay, see how you did it? Yeah. I'ma go up and do mine. Oh. Mm -hmm. right. Okay, now we're gonna wait for his chest to open. I'm gonna throw a monkey, start shooting the f out of him. I don't think we didn't get it that time. What did we do wrong? Grab your gravity spikes so that they'll recharge. We just didn't do enough damage. That's where the rocket launcher comes in handy. Us both using our Ragnaroks right there was a big mistake because they take a very long time to recharge and we barely had any ammo to recharge them with. Okay, someone needs to do it or we need to get behind a pillar. I got it. No, my shit's not charged up. Get behind a pillar. I'm dead. I could now. I was, I was Oh, we're gonna lose. <laughs> the sad part about that was that Brendan realized that he had in plain sight right after that happened. Oh, we gotta get behind something. Use your, oh wait, you don't even have ammo. And it took away my gun because uh... And I went down because of zombies. Right here, Brendan revived me using his in plane sight, but he went down while doing it because of the giant flying keeper skulls that the boss uses to attack you. Like we literally can't do anything until we get our gravity spikes charged. And then by the time we get them charged, we're not gonna have enough ammo to even put damage into him. Right here, we survived the next wipe attack and then Brendan went down because of the skeletons. Oh my God. We're and if I don't get you up, bro, then you're gone. I'm reviving oh, you right God. now, and I'm getting behind a pillar. Ah! We managed to survive the next wipe attack, and then I finally got my Ragnaroks recharged, and I used them for the next wipe attack. Oh sh! All the zombies. This is our only chance right here, and we f***ed it. I'm telling you, bro, these zombies aren't dropping shit. I don't think they will. Like, I literally think that's how the boss fight's designed. Oh my we god. Just, we just came in too early. We should have gave it a couple more rounds to get shit set up. And I went down. Oh. You need to run. Get behind a pillar. <laughs> go, go. Oh. Ah. I'm behind the pillar, but I'm dead to the zombies. Because my pharaoh is absolute dog. I thought you f Oh no, you- Oh no. The pharaoh? Oh, Why would God. you take- Like you should've- We should've no, definitely gave it more time. It's because I lost meal kick. God. The third game that we failed, we were already having a rocky game where I went down and I had to get my perks back and we were just burning through rounds here and there. And when I started the keep your feeding step, which is the last step before the boss fight, this happened. Oh, bring the rocket launch is going off. You know where quick revive is? 
Up the, the stairs in Quick Revive? Yeah, up the stairs. Over here where I'm at. Oh, kill this f***ing panzer. There's two panzers, by the way. Get ready for them. I've got to feed them my bow. Three, like, Four. Yeah, Get these panzers, bro. Oh, the panzer. I use my grab spikes on them. I don't. I don't have a. I killed one. Oh my god! I went down. <laughs> there's, there's just no way. It's because we're trying to rush it. Oh my god! The fourth game that we failed, I was already having a bad game where I kept getting cornered in stupid situations. And during the keeper feeding step, I went down trying to kill a panzer because I got sandwiched between some zombies and the panzer. But Brendan successfully killed the panzer and got me back up. After that, I got Jug and we went on to finish the keeper feeding step. After we finished that step, we just tried to get set up for the boss fight and I went down again while we were trying to get set up. And then I got Jug again and I bought the Cuda to use it as a point builder because I was broke. One in important thing to note is that we were both using soda fountain during these games so that's why it looks like I had perkaholic but I didn't. I still had to spend points to get my perks. Not only that but pack a punch and spinning the box to get everything that we wanted for the boss fight. Oh my god points for days. Hell yeah you're going up like crazy. <gasps> there was a nuke yeah. and I walked into it. Oh shit, it ain't the end of the round. That's Let's good. see how many are left. Oh shit. No. No, no. shot. While well, I'm pack a fucking like, rocket launcher. And now it's gonna be gone. That's bad. Where the f are you? I'm at the bottom pack a bunch. I'm hurrying my ass up. Holy shit, there's an ass load of zombies. I'm not gonna be able to get to. Wait, don't you have near death experience? Oh. Dude, I was trying to run to you and there was just an ass load waiting for me to walk down that corridor. <laughs> you don't have your board, your bow. No, your I don't have anything besides this. I'm not trying to do that. I'm gonna die. That would have been the game over. That would have been a GG. <laughs> oh yeah, I know. Why do you gotta die, bro? Dude, this isn't putting a lot of pressure on me, bro. <laughs> And I feel slow as f All you have is Jug. Oh no. That's what I was afraid of. That's what's been happening to no. me all f game. It's just tr getting trapped like that. Oh god. You wanna restart it? I mean, if you're f still down to go, I'll go. But like, <laughs> that's literally what's been happening to me all game. It's just like getting cornered like that. After that game, we changed our gobble gums and I busted out Perkaholic because I was tired of that bullshit. And then we kept on restarting our game, trying to get shopping free on round one. And we both put on shopping free to double our chances. We also both went and got food because we were hungry as f FYI, I got cheese sticks and chips and salsa, just in case you're ever wondering what the f I'm putting in my mouth. And Brendan surprisingly got chips and salsa too. Oh, oh. Huh? Ah! He got it. He's going. He's going. As you just saw, Brendan got shopping free and started opening all of the doors that he could. Now I don't want to bore you, so let me give you a quick summary of everything that we did on this part. That's what I try to do with the voiceovers in my videos. So yeah, after Brendan got shopping free, I picked up the tram fuse, I hit the gobble gum machine, and I got extra credit. I activated the landing pad and spawn. I called the tram and got a max ammo, which gave us more point building MR6 ammo. Brendan bought stamina up and speed cola as he was was opening up the doors with his shopping free. I teleported the Undercroft pack a bunch pieces. I activated the anti gravity. I picked up a shield part. I opened up the BRM wall by just in case we wanted to use it later. Brendan started feeding the dragon in the command room. We went to round two in the process. I activated the landing pad next to the clock tower. I picked up another shield part. Brendan finished feeding the dragon in the command room. I activated the landing pad next to double tap. I picked up the last shield part. Brendan got soda fountain and I gave him three of my four 
bonus points drops to help him buy his perks. I then gave myself the last bonus points drop and I started feeding this dragon. While Brendan went to buy his perks, I hit the gobble gum and I got Immolation Liquidation. I then kept on feeding this dragon and I got another Tranfuse in the process. Brendan told me he bought the KN44 and he got all nine perks using his soda fountain. Do you, do you want to go ahead and use these fire cells real quick? Uh, I only got 70 points, but uh, yeah, let me see this a couple times. I think nine will be good enough, right? See if there's any barriers. I don't even think I can hit the box nine times. I think I think I'm good. Just see if there's a barrier, just in case. Alright. I was eating a <laughs> chip, and he started <laughs> sprinting. Where'd he go? Did I juke his ass? No, he full sended up that damn thing. Uh oh. <laughs> Why is he Why gonna start brother? sprinting? I don't know. Hey, you got some God. points now, big brain. I, I meant to big do that. Big brain. Big a brain. Right here, I called the tram to see if I would get lucky and maybe get another fire cell, but I got an insta kill. Then we both went to our own boxes and I used my fire cells. Our goal was for both of us to get monkeys and XMs. The monkeys are almost a necessity in the boss fight and the XM makes doing damage to the keeper really easy. Hey, Monkey oh, bombs. I oh, I got the XM. No way. Oh, I got the XM is also. Oh my God, did you get monkey bombs yet? No. We kept on hitting the box until the fire cells went away, and sadly, Brendan did not get monkey bombs. I was trying to get the dingo, but I got stuck with the pharaoh. I remember. <laughs> I don't I even bring it up, dude. <laughs> I remember the gun you took into the boss fight. Wait, was it the pharaoh? Yes. <laughs> oh, God. This gun's ass. <laughs> I'm out of ammo. <laughs> I got perkaholic. On this part of the video, I started feeding the dragon in the undercroft, and Brendan finished feeding the dragon that I was feeding earlier. I also built the shield in the undercroft, and I picked it up. Can you keep him for a bit? I'm gonna eat this. I'm gonna eat my, I'm gonna eat my food. Badass, dude. <laughs> You want me to do anything hustle for you? On this part of the video, the last zombie on round three finished feeding the last dragon. Well, this dragon's done, so what, you want me to stay in here? Does this one need to be fed? No, they're all done. Oh, shit. Mm, I don't want to trade my pharaoh, though. My pharaoh's kind of pocked here. Oh, wait, never mind. I got milk kick. Let's go. Now we can start making our bows around four. Or my widow's wine. Okay. The the shield is on the um, undercroft, by the way. <laughs> Dude, I've gotten that one first try both times. I'm a beast. Yep. Nope. Let's see if I can get. Oh yeah, second try. Oh yeah, I'm speedrunning this bow shit, baby. On this part of the video, I opened this door and then I did the painting step so I could start my wolf bow quest. I then opened the teleporter door. Brendan picked up his shield. I then picked up this plant for a little side easter egg that I planned on doing later on. I used the teleporter. I activated the last landing pad. I shot this flag and got my wolf skull. I then started waiting for the rocket so I could get the Ragnarok part for it. While I was doing all of this, Brendan was doing the Stormbow quest and he got all the way to where he just needed to feed the little lightning things and use them to electrify the big fires that he lit up. And while I was waiting for the rocket, a bunch of zombies spawned on me. So he came down there to feed his little lightning thing. And while he was doing that, the rocket started going off. So I rushed outside to flip the switch for the Ragnarok part. I then rushed back inside and we both sat in that room training like crazy because we wanted to save the zombies just in case we needed them for feeding. After that, I waited right here so I could flip this switch for the Ragnarok part. I then teleported the Pack-a-Punch pieces that were down there by the rocket pad. And then Brendan got ready to try and electrify the fire that was down there. Right, okay, so don't miss your shot. Don't miss. Let's go, he's getting used to it i'm getting the lineups it's like butter Ooh, now we got more money rock paper scissors <laughs> thanks sugar daddy <laughs> thank you sugar daddy i don't know. what else do i got hmm i mean i can keep hitting and try to get more fire cells just in case you need monkey bombs what i need is two double cheeked up latinas i'm like 
<laughs> on this part of the video, me and Brendan pretty much spent the next eight minutes trying to finish making our bows. He got finished with his, and I got very close to finishing mine, but I still had a few steps before I was done. Since he finished his bow, we could start the main easter egg. And by the way, we went through three rounds on this part because we had to feed lots of zombies for our bows. Uh, is there anything I need to do? Anything I could start the wisp if you want to try and get that oh, done. Uh, yeah, you have your regular bow, right? Yeah, I'm starting it right yeah, now. Okay. All right. I only know the one by double tap and Samantha's glove, the ones you showed me. It's by the, it's on the wheel. It's on the wheel. Wait, the wheel of which car? Right where I'm standing down here, where you got it last time. Oh, okay. I got you. There's a double tap. Well, there's also a, a spot above double tap, like not above the machine, but like in this room right, right here, this in the in this corner. You see it? It's there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hell yeah. Easy enough. I know where Samantha's globe is. If it's not there, I'll go. I'm gonna oh, go to the power. other ones. It's okay. I'm gonna go check Quick Revive and see if it's there. At least it's not like the buried with step. Yeah, it's not Kroger Vibes, so it's one of your I spots. It. I don't even remember. Oh, the buried with stuff. You have uh, to have Vulture Aid to see it, remember? You gotta have what? Vulture Aid, that perk. Do you remember that perk? Oh, I remember. Anything yeah. else you need me to do? The teleporter. I'm down here waiting to go. Oh, yeah. I forgot that that's what we do. <laughs> I'm a moron. I'm You're not down at the teleporter, Braden. You lied to me. Bro. I'm hitting gobble gum just so I can spin it. I'm trying to, I'm trying to wait for fire cells. Let's go perkaholic. <laughs> is that just, is that, is that going to be the reason why I pay for everything? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thank you, sugar daddy. Waiting for this scrub to put in the f code. What do we use the code for? You use that code to open the safe. That's why it's on the safe. It's the it's password. Circle, lightning, circle. Circle, lightning, circle. Circle, lightning, circle. Circle, lightning, circle. You know those four main computers that are right next to the death ray? You yeah, put yeah. it in right there. Be ready for his ass. Dude, I'm f out. I ain't got a bow. I mean, I got the regular one, but... Okay, I'm coming back. Grab that shit and let's go. I don't wanna. That can't be good. Okay, now let's go up to the death ray. Yeah, f the wisp set for now. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and set that computer up if you want to do it. I don't know what the code was. It's gonna turn um, on. Door lightning. I mean, circle lightning circle. Use your bow. I'm just circle. Okay. okay now, now can I? Oh, computer, I, I I put it in. Okay. I also use idolize. I saw that. Sh I'm utilizing your idle edge right now, and I got that part. We need to go down to the safe and get that shit out of the safe. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. I'm going Let's ahead and I'm grabbing Can I start it. the Simon Says thing? Yeah, but you have to um, turn the death ray to destroy and put those okay. two little fuses or coils or whatever into the death ray things. All right, so put the fuses into the death ray and then set it to destroy? Yeah, you know the little coils on the le electricity part? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Make sure both of those are in and set it to destroy. And once you got that, all you gotta do is go up to the computer and hold X and it'll let you do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, I know that part, yeah. I'll set it unless you... How do you set it? Oh, okay, never mind. Uh, I'm gonna okay. use idolize while I do this. Okay. I'm gonna go... I'm just gonna lightning get away. Lightning circle, rocket door. Lightning circle, rocket door. Lightning circle, rocket door. Lightning circle, rocket. Hold up. I wonder if I can go ahead and do the other one while you're doing that one. Nope, it won't let me. I have to wait for you to finish. It's done. It's done now. Who knew Dempsey needed explosive arrows in his life? Lightning rocket door circle. Lightning rocket door circle. Lightning rocket door circle. Lightning rocket door circle. Let me know if you want me to use idle eyes. I have one more. Okay. You want me to just use it now? Yeah. 
Lightning. Lightning. Okay, I got it. So I press the big, big green button yep. on the Yep. And then the summoning keys or the golden rod is always in the same spot on the ground in the snow. I remember where it was last time. It's like round eight, Braden. Yep. And I'm about to finish yeah, Wolf Bow. God damn, you still got it. No, I've been helping you. Look, yeah, yeah, yeah. I literally, all I got to do is feed the, finish feeding the wolf, get the arrow, and then feed my bow, and I'm done. I got the golden. I'm <laughs> oh, we still got to do the whiff step again so we can get that piece for the keeper step. I just need souls down here. We could also build the Ragnaroks whenever we're ready. You want me to build them? Yeah. Are you proud of how far I've come? Okay. Yep. Thanks. Means a lot. I literally just finished doing my bow step. Now I'm just grabbing my arrow. What the fuck? I didn't know you'd come up here. Yeah, that's. I have to shoot that thing to get that oh. platform to come up. And then I make my arrow. And then I place it over here. I guess I'll just feed these zombies the next round we can do wisp. I won't be able to help you with the wisp because I don't have my bow yet. I'll walk around and like tell you where I see, if I see it. Or you could just keep feeding if you want. Alright. Don't matter. I just got cash back, so let me know if you ever need a max ammo. Okay. Alright, I know my route. I'm gonna start in the room where I feed the soul to. The one that's normally your spot, and then I'm gonna mm -hmm. check double tap, and then I'm gonna check Samantha's Globe, then power, and then all of my spots. Okay, so right here. Right. Right. Oh. And it, it cut off because. Um, Is it probably because I'm shooting my gun? I don't know. No, I shot my bow because the zombies would get out of the way. I don't know how that really works because, like, sometimes it's like it 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 does that to you when you shoot a bow, and then sometimes you're just good. Like you're just taking yeah. a chance when you shoot your bow. If that makes sense. But I don't know exactly what causes it. Right here, I finished feeding my bow and I picked it up. I then pack a punched my XM and then we went to the next round so we could try to do this wisp step again. I got the first one. I went ahead and got my Ragnaroks. Oh shit, I just realized we're doing the wisp step. I'll go check. As far as I can see, all these spots are good. I'm checking power. I got it. I got it. Okay, one more. I got it. Nice. All right, I'm gonna go down there. I gotta take the long way. No, I don't. Whatever you do, don't forget about the Panzers or the Panzer. Sometimes I forget he's even gonna be there. I'm using this muff. Oh, I could have done it. I'm the sugar daddy. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely using my XM3 on that muff. All right, put that key card in the machine. Oh, okay. I was just testing you. All right, I'm grabbing this. Oh yeah, I can put my plant here. Now I can wait for it to grow and get a random mecha gobble gum. What the hell just happened? Dude, I just sometimes feel like my bow doesn't do shit. No. I just it's hit him with a rocket launcher, bro. Please give me something. I got double points. Hey, that's pretty good. Um, should we go ahead and do the keeper step? Yeah. Dude, look what round it is. <laughs> Ten. We're goaded, dude. <laughs> we're spanking this Easter egg. We're whipping, we're ripping we're it a new one. Whooping its gooch. <laughs> Dude, he's going down here. Hey, I'll take that any game. Him going down here first. It's your bow. Gather and... Okay, I'm gonna eat real quick. <laughs> All right, so. For those that don't know how this step works, we pretty much have to feed this ghost keeper a full round of zombies at four different locations. And the color of the light around the edge of the screen, whenever you are standing in the feeding circle, correlates with the bow that you have to use to feed souls at that location.
It's done. Let's go, baby. If he's coming this way, he's either gonna skip this one or he's going straight here. Bro, he said F that one. He's going over here. He's going all out of order. My zombie should just broke. I'm gonna grab one real quick. Mine's about to break too. You ever get your grab spikes? Yes. Right now I'm trying to see if I can feed him when you're gone. I can, but the circle's smaller. I'm trying to save as much ammo as possible. I'm using like double points. Okay, here we go. Oh, I saved good. a lot of ammo. I still got 50. Oh, no, he's gone. Where's the panzer? Yeah, he, gone. he gotta come now. There's no doubt. There he is. I know. I'm kidding. Dude, if he comes, he's gonna be right in front of me. There he is. There he is. I shot his ass. He did. He did. He did. Rocket launcher just laid him out. <laughs> okay, I got this. I grabbed the insta kill. Now you gotta do is protect me. I mean, if you still don't have monkey bombs, you got a lot of money that you could use on the box. Yeah. There we go. I already know where the last spot is. I'm running right to it. By double tap, right? Mm hmm. Wait for his ugly ass to show up. How much ammo you got in your bow? 48. I placed down the stone. Oh, sh. Aw, oh, man. I don't want to rush this boss fight. Okay, where is he at? There's Panzer. I'm grabbing this. I'll grab the death machine and I f him up real quick. Is he already dead? Yeah. Death machine tears his ass up. Don't worry about ammo, because I got cash back. Oh my god! Okay, he's done. Oh my god, I never actually looked at him. Mm -hmm. This is ugly. I told you, bro. If you follow him down here, you can see the whole thing that you never ever see because you never come down here. Oh, I did see this one time. They'll stop spawning whenever he goes in. What happens if you go in there? Do you get damage? I don't think you die, but you can... I wouldn't be standing there when the pyramid spawns in. <laughs> it's just like appears, bro. And I bet you would die immediately. For those that don't know what's going on story-wise right here, I don't know the specifics, but we pretty much just sent that keeper after Dr. Groff. And I think we do that because we were trying to get rid of the electricity on Dempsey's pod that Dr. Groff activated to try and stop us. And then the keeper comes back corrupted inside of the MPD. And for some reason, we have to fight it in the boss fight. And also, for some reason, it's really big in the boss fight. I think we actually teleport inside of the MPD with the Keeper when we enter the boss fight, which takes us to the ether where it is at. I don't know if it's actually in the ether or not, but it makes sense to me because the ether does corrupt things and the MPD is tied to the ether. And they do say the ether is very dark. So yeah, I don't know. It's just a theory of mine. Let me know what you guys think. Yeah, we can save a zombie this round and then make sure we're all set up to go. And if we feel like we need more time, we can go to another round if we do. On this part of the video, we pretty much just made sure we had everything we needed for the boss fight. Here's what we ended up with as our loadouts. We both had our bows, obviously. We both had our Ragnaroks, obviously. We both had XMs that were pack-a-punched. We both had BRMs that were pack-a-punched. I got Deadwire on my BRM. He got Fireworks on his BRM. We both got new shields. We both had monkey bombs. We both had all nine perks. He got Danger Closest as his gobblegum, and I got Near Death Experience as my gobblegum. After we got everything, I gave Brendan a good rundown of the boss fight and how we were gonna do it before we went in, because I was trying to to make sure we did not fail and yeah you press you press lt lt i'm pulling i'm pressing them right now and it's only two panzers at a time but like four of them will be come in after one of the things if that makes sense so do you have your xm in your hand right now right now i have my bow and i'm waiting for his thing i'll do the first electric thing all right i'll do my grab spikes first Okay. You don't even have to shoot at all right now. You can just keep running in circles. So save your ammo for the freaking panzers. Gotcha. Okay, I got there it. it is. 
Let me know when to throw And them. remember to always pick up your grab spikes after you're done. Throw. I'm gonna throw a monkey bomb now. You ready? Get in front of him and spam him with the XM. He's done. He's done. He's done. We no did way. it. That's why the XM is OP. And then and remember to always grab your Ragnaroks after that. Panthers are gonna spawn in now. You shoot the Panthers with the XMs or what? Yeah, if you want to, but if you need to pull your bow out, pull it out. I'm red spoon. I throw a monkey bomb. Throw, shoot down your uh, storm bow real quick. Protect us. Both panzers are on me. Shoot them with your bow, like crazy. I am, I am. Another one just spawned. Alright, no, I'm kidding. I'm trying not to die right now. Oh. Actually, throw your monkey bombs if you need them right now, because every time you kill a panzer, you get a max ammo. More just spawned in. I'm trying to f them up. Bomb. We both need to run in the same direction so we don't keep leading zombies towards us. Ah, uh, can you throw a monkey bomb? Yeah, I'm throwing no, one right now. Okay. Are these panthers stronger? I think so, because they're taking a shit ton of hits. Hold up, I'm trying to get. I killed one. There's one left. That one's dead. Is there a max ammo? Grab yeah. it. Okay, now just keep running in a circle again and wait till the electric thing spawns in. And huh. then you need to use your gravity spikes. Okay. Because mine aren't recharged I, yet. I hit LT on it, right? Yeah. And make sure you're in the circle in the middle. Right now I'm trying to refill my gravity spike. That's why I'm killing. It's right there. Okay, now get ready to f come up. I'm throwing a monkey bomb. He's done. Oh my god. Grab your guy spikes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why XM is OP. Now there's gonna be panzers again. I'm gonna throw a monkey bomb in one panzer. Okay, there's, they're here. Yeah, I throw a monkey bomb. I'm getting oh, blinded like a mother. I'm gonna just f them up. Their ass up. Oh. I'm throwing a monkey bomb. I'm throwing a monkey bomb. Alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm telling you, it's those. Dead. One of them died. There's another one spawning in. Throw a monkey. Okay. Okay. The pans are right here next to me. Yeah, same. Dude, yeah, literally my storm, my wolf bow just goes through his ass. They don't do anything to him, I swear. Use your XM. I'm shooting him with my BRM. There's one next to you, watch out. Oh, I'm trapped, I'm trapped. I'm down, I'm down. Or no, I'm not. If you're down, I'm I got down, you, yeah. I got you. I'm down. Don't worry, I got you. I threw a monkey bomb. I'm on fire. I'm on fire. Okay, I got my grass spikes. I'm almost out of ammo. Throwing a monkey bomb. Shoot him with the XM. Shoot him with the XM. There's one more. There's one more. Oh, another one just spawned. I'm throwing my monkey there's bomb. Two, Okay, there's six of them this time instead of four. If you need to, pull out your BRM and spray their ass. Holy sh! I'm red screen. Oh. 
I'm on fire, I can't see. This is still one of the hardest damn boss fights, bro. I swear. I'm trying to clear these zombies out. Run, run, run. One. I think there's another dead. Yeah, another's dead. Thank there's God. one on me. I'm f***ing him up. That's it, that's it. Let's go. Did we get a max ammo? Yes, yes, grab Let's that go. shit. I needed that shit. Okay, now start running in circles. And get ready for that shit. I got my gravity spikes. Once once we hit the boss again, is it gonna spawn more panzers? I think after that it's over. Okay. So you're gonna gravity spike it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My shield just broke. Mine's about to break. There's another panzer. Yeah, he's f***ing me up. I got a monkey bomb. I got it. There it is, there it is. I'm throwing a monkey bomb, my last one. I'm throwing a one too. Oh, oh f there's a panzer. Yep. I'm about to f him up though. That should be it, that should be... Wait, keep shooting, keep shooting, keep shooting. I think you got it. I think you got it. Yeah, all the zombies oh, disappeared. Let's go! Okay. Now we gotta go get the summoning. We gotta go place the summoning key down. Are there any zombies? There will be some. Oh, wait, grab this. I'm grabbing it. Or I placed it. Wait, I think I just grabbed it. Let's go. Let's get out of here. You wanna do the honors? What do I do? Press X on that computer. Something's happening. Hold up. Maybe it's because I grabbed it. Maybe I have to grab it. Let's go down Did there and see. The mm, I don't think so. You just place it. Hold up. Let's go see where it's at. Maybe I didn't grab it. Oh, I just grabbed it. Let's go, let's go, okay. let's go. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> let's go. Oh, oh my god. Holy sh! <laughs> Let's go! Damn, that's a lot of rockets. Holy! F oh, finally! Around fifteen. Let's go! That boss fight was stressful as. F God damn! Jesus Christ! I know where we are going. I to the moon. <laughs> the moon is legit gone. <laughs> Holy sh! Now we f up. Now we f get Dempsey, baby. I hope so. This subject will one day wreak havoc across the entire universe. Not be allowed. This wasn't how it was supposed to go. We were supposed to secure the package and be in and out clean. Instead, the whole thing's been one disaster after another. I should never have trusted you, Rick Toppin. Never! You should trust me, Dempsey. You all should. This artifact has the power to contain and preserve the subject's soul. Your soul. But it can only be done after the moment of death. Just as you saw me do to my other self. It is the only way. Wait! If someone's gotta take him out to save the universe, then it should be me that does it. Good to see you, Tank.
<laughs> now what? Well, now you got your little wormy. What do you mean my little wormy? The little icon on the map when you beat it. 